Ah, so, greetings from the Eerie Coast. This is Mad Shad. Coming to you from my outpost in Cleveland. On the high ground. <laughs> so, uh, yesterday, an amazing day. Interesting day. I went to the Ashery and, uh, and went to some, uh, some, some, uh, some butcher shops, packaging companies. And I got some meat, got some meat. Uh, and I'll show that later on uh, when I do this video. I still haven't edited it, but uh, you know, it was, it was amazing to see what community looks like. Uh, but I, I still gotta put all this video together. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, was, it was amazing to see community. They 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 got together and had a parade. It's just a small little community. I mean, less than I think they have you know, total in population is four thousand people in this small town. And uh, I I got invited to go because it's close to the ashery. But I didn't get a lot of a lot of. Uh, they had signs up that uh, that you know, for one, nobody was wearing a mask. If if they were, there were just one or two just because they wanted to wear a mask. That's fine. But they had these signs everywhere. You know, these lighted signs with the the, the letters in them. You know, the businesses uh, it said non-compliance is the way that we beat this. That was one of the signs. Uh, I can't remember the other one. Uh, it's just a lot of signs like that. You know, they, they just, you know, I will not comply. And everybody was on board and they talked about it. <laughs> you know, uh, this town does not have a, uh, a police force. Uh, if they need the police, they call them. Uh, they do have a lot of firefighters and EMT. Uh, which was the thing for the the, the theme for the uh, uh, for the parade and the event? Uh, you know, they had to blow out, they had to blow up uh, the blow up houses and you know for the kids and, and all that stuff. A balloon maker and that was great. It was great food, but I had already eaten a lot, so <laughs> I didn't get to enjoy the food or the barbecue or anything. It was a long day, long day indeed. Uh, so I'm out here with Charity. She's she's doing her LPOP thing. So uh, yeah, once once I once I get some coffee in me, you know, we've already been on a big old walk this morning. And that's what I do is I I walk walk Charity and make the coffee and come back and I have fresh coffee so I'm, I'm staggering around the neighborhood <laughs> in the wilderness you know without coffee I'm like Arr. but I you know it, it wakens you it, it wakens it awakens the soul you know because the sun's out and that's great <laughs> Yeah, I'll show that uh, at different packages, and you know, you're looking at like I I need to get a freezer first before I get get into you know quarters and sides. And <laughs> <coughs> but it's it's fairly reasonably priced. Uh, you know, you're looking at like. Two, between two and almost three, yeah, two to three. I'd say a little bit more than three, yeah, three and a half, maybe four dollars a pound for everything, for anything you want. You know, cut to cut to your own specifications, packed and ship or packed and, and and everything. They, it's it's better to do to go freezer. 
uh, hanging rate is, is what they call it, hanging weight. So what they do is they take the animal, they slaughter it, and it's all local. That's that's the badass thing. It's all local. Uh, cows everywhere. I mean, everybody's got a cow. <laughs> you know, there's, there's everybody. There's there's milk cows and there's beef cows, and, and so what they do is they slaughter the animal and they they uh, you know they they slaughter the animal and they hang it. They they clean it and they hang it uh, and age it, and so that you lose a lot of weight that way. Uh, if you buy a cow, you know, on the hoof, you know, it's walking around, you're, you're going to pay for all that weight. Uh, so what they do is they, you know, after they age it, then they freeze it, and then they cut it. Or they cut it, then freeze it. I don't know, whatever. But uh, and then they package it up, and there you go. And it's a however you want. You want a steak that, that thick or you want steaks that thick. And if you don't want a certain thing, they'll just add it to the ground, to the ground beef. Uh, hogs too. Uh, we, we went to one place first uh, and uh, it, it was extremely expensive. Uh, it was one of those, uh, uh, they're very famous, let's just say that. Uh, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, it, it was a good experience, it was cool, uh, but, uh, you know, no, I'm not paying eight bucks for, you know, for a little steak, you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing that, <laughs> so, uh, we did that, and we went to the Ashery, and, uh, you get stuff there, and I got a lot of, I go for their bacon, and their cheese, and, uh, deli meats, and, some other stuff they have, uh, little pastries and fry pies and uh, all that stuff, and they've got a lot of bulk. You'll see it in the video. A lot of bulk uh, food products, big big bags, bags of beans and different kinds of beans, and jellies and jams. And, you know, I like my jellies and jams. I got jalapeno raspberry, Ooh. Uh, which I'm going to be cooking me a breakfast here soon. Enjoying some of that on some toast. Uh, maybe I want to. Maybe I will put that on the chicken. But uh, my goal was to stock up my little freezer, and I did. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, uh, okay. So, went from Ashery to a place, uh, Marshall, Marshall, Marshallville Meats. Uh, there was another one we wanted to check out, uh, Beaver Meats, but we didn't get to that. Um, I have to investigate that one but they're roughly about an hour and a half two hours away uh, depending on how you drive um, but went to Marshallville meets and they got packages if you don't want to get a quarter front quarter hind quarter or a side which is the way to go uh, and it's, it's like five hundred six hundred dollars for the hind quarters and you get a ton of meat <laughs> you get a bunch of meat and they throw in a chicken or two which was pretty cool. So, uh, I got, what did I get? I got 80 pounds of, no, I got about, I get, and they got plans, like plan A, plan B, plan C, plan E. I got the, the $99 one, and it was a box, uh, and it had all this meat in it, probably about uh, 40 or 50 pounds of meat so and there's no way you can you can go to the store and, and buy it like this. And they, they had other stuff that they cut and, and packaged and, and threw in their their little you know freezers, but uh, you know it's it's a little bit more expensive that way, but the best way to go, which we're gonna do, is is you know. Get a hind quarter, front quarter, hind quarter, uh, and football season's coming up here, and they love that shit, man. You know, they they've got hogs ready for ready for spit. They got, you know, they they charge you more if they take the head off. I don't understand that. And you also get the heart, the tongue, uh, and all that, and the liver. Uh, but uh, you know, it was, it, and then 
then from there we went to the to the uh, to the parade and the event for the firefighters, uh, and it, it was like a memorial too. It was, it was a memorial for uh, some of the firefighters that passed uh, and that were retired. And of course, you know, you get to meet all your firefighters, uh, and uh, it was it was pretty pretty cool. Got to talk to folks, hang out. Boy Scouts were there. I mean, I, everybody was there. It's, it's, you know, it was great. It was great. Uh, so you'll get to see that footage. Uh, but you know, it, it was it was pretty neat to watch a community, and everybody knew everybody. You know, everybody knew everybody. You know, it was it was pretty neat. It was like, hey Joe, hey Bob, hey, hey Jill, hey Sandra, hey, you know, and these people went to school with each other, and you know, some were dispersed and, and, and living in other areas and came together for this this one event uh, you know, but I got to got to out of that 4,000 or so uh, uh, population about 850 are vets uh, going from World War two all the way down to the recent ones and uh, they they stand they stand ready just say that they they stand ready, uh, so it's a it's not a mag it's community, and they they respond and, and handle things, and and you know I've been told stories that if somebody came to town was acting a fool, they were detained and then the cops were called, <laughs> you know, uh, or they were not called, uh, but you know it's a it's a farm town, it's, it's meat, uh, they, got, they got a lot of cows, they do a lot of cow stuff, and, you know, so there's, there's huge tracts of land, and everybody's growing corn, feeder corn, and feeder soy, and all this stuff, you know, to support the cow industry thing, and uh, it was, it was pretty interesting to watch, so, uh, you know, I, yeah, I just realized that I, I didn't post a video yesterday or anything. Because I, I thought I was going to come home uh, and, and do all this crazy editing, you know. Mo most of my videos I took were like uh, 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds to two to four set, two to four minutes. And so it was, I got to, yeah, it's going to be a mess. But <laughs> uh, I just wanted to throw this out there. Uh, that's a teaser, yeah. And of course to... Uh, um, yeah, talk about talk about a few things. You know, you had the the J six rally that only two kinds of people went to. One of which were glowers, glowies. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about those guys. Uh, yeah, I think there was only one person arrested, and it was the FBI agent. <laughs> Gotta get him out of here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they showed footage of the guy. He's got a little, you know, gator, gator on his face. And, uh, and, you know, riot cops got him. And they're surrounding him. The Capitol Police, and, and he pulls out his badge. And, oh well. He's like, don't worry. Just, just arrest me anyway. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, and you know, glowies. Yeah, glowies. You're a terror, my friend. Yeah, of course. You know, but you know, we all knew that was going to happen. We all knew that was what was up. So nobody went, and yeah, a few people went. And they, you know, like what, 400 people? Yeah. But uh, you know, there, there's. I have to say it. Uh, you know, there's still Americans trapped in Afghanistan, left behind. Thirteen of our, of our, our Marines, Army, and Navy died in a in a bomb. Not to mention the hundreds of people that were that they were they were you know helping out at the time. You know, there was like a huge queue, if you will, uh, of people waiting to get into the airport, and most of them were you know foreign nationals and, and, and families. And it, it was it was just a bloodbath. But they're not showing that. They're not showing it. Hundreds of people died. 
including 13 of our, our U.S. military, uh, young, young lives. Yeah, there was a few, there was a few salty dogs in there, uh, but you know, we're talking lance corporals. And, and I, I was a terminal lance corporal, so you know, I, I, you know, you're standing out there just like giving water out, you know, to folks, and then all of a sudden, you know, that's it. It's pretty rough, man. Uh, and uh, I just want to talk about that, you know. Keep keep harping on that. So I think yesterday is the day that I forgot to do that. I just I might have mentioned it in in the videos, and I was hoping to. I was just beat. When I got home, I was beat. <laughs> I didn't get home until like seven. Uh, so uh, it was a long, long day of running around driving, you know, shopping, uh, so, but I, 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 it was an interesting time, interesting time indeed here in a great state of Ohio, uh, and uh, just, just to show just a little bit of what, what a community looks like, you know, uh, yeah, we live in a big city, uh, in, in the suburban jungle here, uh, and it's a little different, a little different, uh, people still know each other. Uh, you know, but, yeah, so, it's been Mad Shad, I encourage you all to continue to train, continue to prep, and get with your community, uh, get with it, you know, because you can be a service, you can definitely be a service to your community, uh, and, uh, that's what it's all about, so, community is key, even though it's a mad, mad world.